Hi, I want to give you some quick solutions for when your Mac is not reopening Cricut Design Space like it should and it keeps wanting you to download the plugin. If it asks you to download the plugin, you should be able to find this little C icon up here in your toolbar. Mine is barely visible. But if you've restarted your Mac, that Cricut icon will not be there and you need to pull it up. So I'm going to show you a handful of ways to do that and then I'm going to tell you a way to where you don't have to do that anymore. One way is just to open a Finder window, go to your Applications folder, and scroll down, scroll down to Cricut Design Space. You can also, at this point, you could drag this to your dock, and then you would have it there where you could use it at any time. Another way you can do this is to click on the Spotlight window and just start typing Cricut Design Space, it will pop up to the top and then if you just hit the return key or drag and click to this, it will open it. So there's two ways to do it, actually three. You've got just going to the Finder window, going to the Spotlight window, going to the Dock. And then another way to do it is to use the Launchpad. So if I click on my Launchpad button, I also have the Cricut Design Space icon here that I can use. But let's say I just want to avoid all that together and I want it to load automatically every time I start my Mac. So if I wanted to do that, I'm going to go to the Apple menu, System Preferences. Then I'm going to click on Users and Groups under the System category. I'm going to click on My Name and then I'm going to click on Login Items and then I'm going to need to find Cricut Design Space in this list but it's only there because I've already put it there. I'm going to show you how to do that. So what I would do because it's not going to be there is to click on the plus button and then it's going to bring up my applications folder and I would go down to Cricut Design Space. I would select that and say add and then I'm going to put a check mark there and I'm going to close this out, but it's not going to let me make changes until I click on the lock, give it my password to unlock it, and then after I make my change I want to lock this back. Now, in the future, once they fix this and you don't want this auto-loading for some reason, you would come back to these same steps and you would just uncheck this or you can just click on the Cricut Design Space and click the negative button and it'll just take it out of this list altogether. So it's easy to back out of this if it becomes uh, not necessary later. So because I have done that now every time my Mac starts up it brings Cricut Design Space open, it puts the, the Cricut logo up here and I don't have to worry about all these other ways to find the Cricut Design Space app in order to open it and be able to use Cricut Design Space. Now when you click on this icon it does open your Cricut Design Space in your default browser. If you want to use Cricut Design Space in a different browser you would need to open that browser and if it doesn't work right away you can click on this C at the top and get it to work. So this is just a hassle right now because uh, the program is not working like it's supposed to and hopefully this workaround won't be necessary for very much longer but these are just some easy tricks to get you around this um, rough spot in um, using your Mac with the Cricut Design Space. So I hope this has been helpful to you and thanks for watching.